guys and welcome to a new vlog today i am all dressed up and ready to take chris on a shopping spree since he's lost 20 pounds he's needing a few jeans and sweaters that are better fitting for his slimmer body so we are headed to the chicago premium outlets to find some holiday sales Now, Chris never spends money on himself and always spoils me and the boys, so I'm actually really excited to do this for him. It's going to be a lot of fun. He was looking for a casual shoe that was a little nicer than a traditional sneaker. I picked these out. He really liked them, thought they were comfortable, so we ended up getting those. And then the leather jacket. I wanted him to try this one on. He didn't like it. He said it was just too short but I thought it looked really good on him. He is very picky when it comes to leather jackets, apparently. We ended up purchasing the shoes and then we headed out to the next store. I'm a big fan of J. Crew. I love their basics and sweaters on men especially. And after looking around for a while, we found two gorgeous sweaters that I'm so excited to see him in. We made a quick stop into Express because the entire store was 50% off. I don't really know what I'm doing right here, but anyway, Chris can't help but to be super thoughtful. He found this nice sweater blazer that he thought would look nice on Jason, so he bought it. Such a dad. Oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but I have to stop at the pretzel shop every single time I'm out shopping. It's tradition, I can't walk by. I typically get a plain pretzel, but we ended up uh, sharing the jalapeno one. It's very soft and buttering. Oh, I absolutely loved it. Next stop is Levi's. The store was having a buy one get 50% off sale, so we definitely had to get some 5.11s. They're nice and fitted and look so good on him. How was your shopping day? It was good. I spent more money on myself today than... You have in a lifetime? Well, at least on clothes. Yeah. <laughs> He never buys clothes for himself, so this was really fun. Now we're gonna go to Dave's Hot Chicken. Chris has never had it. Dave's Hot Chicken is delicious. Have you had it? Have you had it? It's so good. We're here at Dave's Hot Chicken. I just got the hot chicken sandwich and it comes with the Dave's sauce and some pickles and a really good coleslaw. It's a kale slaw. And Chris got a Reaper, a Reaper. You have to sign a waiver to try their Reaper chicken. Apparently he said it wasn't extremely hot, but it was hot enough to be, you know, to have kick and to, for it to be spicy for Chris. He loves spicy food. He has signed waivers for other things, but he tried it and he's like, a waiver wasn't necessary like that was an exaggeration but it was definitely hot definitely delicious dave's hot chicken is a good place to be you guys crumble cookie some people love it some people hate it i am a big fan if you've never been you can pre-order on the app or you can walk into the store and just place your order like i am i'm just getting a four pack i think i got the chocolate chip melting lava oh no salted uh toffee then i got a peanut brittle and then some sort of like double chocolate one it came to just over 15 dollars i love that you get to watch them make the cookies they have i think eight different flavors every week so it's always changing they're so delicious. I love these. Hello, you guys. My hair, just a hair update, why not, is so tender. It's itchy, it's red, it's sore. I'm on day five now. I think if anyone got their hair braided for the very first time, like it's just not gonna be pleasant for a while, you know? 
I'm gonna try to stick it out, but this morning I thought about just cutting them out and taking them out myself. As of right now, I have a thing of hot water right here. This is, it's synthetic hair, right? It's not soft. So to like soften it and seal it, um, the braiders will dip it in the hot water. Max, your paws are so loud. You can't help it, I know. I just got them cut too. Doesn't matter how short they are. <laughs> I know. Uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip them because they didn't dip mine. Here's a section and I'm just going to put it right in just like that. I looked it up on a YouTube video and it said for about 20 seconds or so. It's like a steam facial. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. I'm just learning as I go, you guys. So no judgment, please. Please, thanks. <coughs> wow. All right, so just like that. Yeah, and the whole idea is just to renew them, soften them, seal them, all of that. And I have my towel over here. I probably should have brought that over. So I'm just gonna do it section by section until they're done. If you're wondering why I'm dipping my head in a casserole dish, it was convenient and literally the first thing that I found, so. Yeah, that's so much better. It feels better, it's straighter, it's lying nicer. It'll take a while for this to dry. I'm gonna continue to towel dry it. Wow, the butt is looking juicy today. Wow. You know what it is? I've gained weight back. I don't know if you guys have noticed in my face. You can always see it in my face like first. Um, it's like in my face, my boobs, and my butt is where I get my weight immediately. That's where I lose it too, unfortunately. I have some Amazon packages, Christmas gifts. I'm about to go to work, you guys. I thought I would just jump on camera really quick and give you a hair update. That's all this was really supposed to be. We'll see how much longer I can tolerate these. I don't really want to take them out tonight. I'm still enjoying them. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I hate them one second, I like them the next. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take the scissors and cut the braid and then unravel it. As simple as that. And I'm just gonna go one by one until the whole head is done. Oh my goodness, this is gonna feel so good. This is such a crazy look. Like all of the hair is still like perfectly, what am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say? It's like perfectly perfect. Look at these little tiny ringlets. It's so cute. This took me an hour and a half, maybe. Hour and 45 minutes to get them all. It is the next day and the hair is back. The curls are here and they're gonna stay for a while. I took a shower and washed my hair and the water hitting my scalp hurt so bad. That's how sensitive my head has been. So we're gonna be recovering. I have a couple of scabs on here. Apparently I've been scratching my sleep. But I wanted to show you guys, I got the Royal Oils Daily Moisture Scalp Cream and anybody can use this if you have curly hair, straight hair, whatever. But it prevents dryness and it's a moisturizer for your scalp. It's like a deep conditioner for your scalp. So it's great for winter and fall. Um, I don't have dandruff, but I do have a dry scalp. It's just not dandruffy. So I put some on the scalp and it just felt so soothing, so good, so, uh, you know? So I highly recommend this. I got it from Amazon. It was less than 10 bucks. Like it's great and it smells amazing. I'm so glad that I found that. I wish I would have known about it earlier. But if you have dandruff, that's 
thing to use. Okay, let's go downstairs. I'm gonna make myself a chai tea latte. I got decaf. Target has the pre-made chai. They have regular and decaf. I was didn't even know that or I would have bought it a long time ago. magical it is so good i'm about to leave here in about 30 minutes to go to work when i get home we're going to open up all of these boxes i have so many i'm going to show you guys what i got the kids for christmas i got some pretty good stuff and um we're going to do some wrapping oh super excited to say that i'm taking roman to his first day of work at chipotle first day of work first real job Bye. Have a great first day. <laughs> you should have seen the look I just got. <laughs> I'm so proud. Ooh, there's a long line too. He's like, what do I say? Say I'm Roman and I'm here for training. Why am I vlogging and driving? It's like I can't talk and drive at the same time. I'm at that age. I used to get on to my mom about it and she's like, I'm driving, I can't talk. And I'm like, what? But I get it now. I completely get it. I'm gonna show you guys what I got the kiddos and what I got Chris. Ooh, I got him something so good. And I did my nails. Look at these holiday candy cane nails. I'm so excited for them. It feels so good to have this going on. Actually, I just stopped to do a Amazon return. I forgot I had my returns in the back, but I got really hungry and I stopped at Taco Bell, you guys. I typically hate Taco Bell. I feel like it tastes like dog food, but I have a strong craving for it. Like how weird, do you ever crave something that you just don't typically like? It's the oddest thing. I got a Mexican pizza with, huh? he asked me what sauce they wanted and then he didn't give it to me. I got a Mexican pizza and then I got a cheesy gordita crunch without the meat. I don't like their meat. Um, I got it with potatoes. And then I get the Mexican pizza without meat too. Except it has meat in it. Oh my goodness. Well, whatever. Thought I would chit chat with you guys while I had a little snack. This isn't a snack, this is a meal. I got dinner. Should I use this? I'll just use my fingers. The holidays can be crazy, am I right? There's so much pressure to Spend money, spend, 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 buy, 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 consume, 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 right? Mm -hmm. I don't like it so much with the meat, but okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I go all out on my kids and my nieces for like children. I feel like Christmas is for children. I don't think, in my opinion, people should just be buying all these gifts for everyone and putting it on credit cards and going into debt. And let me tell you, most people do that. Statistics show most people go into debt for Christmas every single year. It's stressful. They're spending all this money they don't have. And it's like, why? For the adults and people that you appreciate in life, instead of giving gifts, maybe doing nice things would be a better idea and less stressful and it won't break the bank and it means more too. Maybe during the holidays you offer your friends a date night, like you watch the kids for a night so they can spend time together. Like that's a nice thing to do. Or get your girlfriends together and everybody that go volunteer together at a soup kitchen or you know, whatever, like doing things, good deeds. It's perfect for holiday time and you don't break the bank. It's it's free to do. Because no one's happy spending all the money. I was so hungry. I haven't had a meal today. Mm. Jason tried the chicken quesadilla or the steak quesadilla. Add potatoes and tomatoes and then he dipped it in nacho cheese. Oh, wow. Okay, let's try the other thing. What does this look like? It's been so long, here's a potato. I'm 
it's so dry without sauce. I'm back home. I'm looking for a place to set you guys down so I can show you everything, everything. Maybe, I mean, hold on. This here. And then I'll just scoot in right here. Whew. Can you guys see me okay? I don't have my mic, so. All right, so the first thing that I got Jason, and if you don't know and you're new to my channel, Jason is my son. He is 19 years old and he's such a sweetheart. Really good kid. Um, he wanted a robe and slippers. So I got him this Alexander De La Rosa, like full length robe for men. And it is long. It's super soft and plush and it goes all the way down to the ankles. So perfect for the winter time when you really want to bundle up in something oversized. It goes all the way down the arms, the legs, like you're just fully covered. You can just wrap up in it essentially like a blanket, but it has like a nice lapel and pockets. Like it looks nice too. It's not just like you throw on a blanket and it's sloppy. So he got a robe and then I got him matching slippers. I think he's turning into a man or something because he's like, I need a bathrobe with slippers. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I got the Rock Dough brand. It is hard on the bottom. Hi. And then on the top, they're just super plushy and soft. I don't want to open it because, you know, then he'll have an open Christmas present. But I think you can tell right there that it's like really fuzzy and cushiony and just really comfortable looking. So hopefully it feels like it looks. And then I got a bunch of cologne. So both the boys, so Roman is my 16 year old and he's the one that doesn't really like to be on camera. They both like to smell good. They're into fragrance, which I'm really excited about because you guys know how much I love fragrance. So I got several different ones for them to just kind of split and share and kind of discover. They're teenagers, so they don't really need super expensive colognes. They really just need something clean and fresh to start out with. So I got them a variety. This one is the Club de Nuit Intense for men. And I got the big bottle. And and this is more um, of a grown-up scent. It's the only one that I got that is more manly and isn't so much teenage, like fresh Nautica type scent. So I got him something a little more mature that's appropriate for fall and winter. So I got the big bottle of that. And then the rest of them, they're gonna smell and kind of decide which one they want. You can just kind of split it. But this is the Nautica Blue. You guys, this is really old fragrances, nothing new. They're like 20, $25 each for the big bottles, but they, like I said, smell really clean and fresh. This is the Guess Seductive Ohm Blue. And then I got the Nautica Voyage. That one smells, again, really clean. They're so affordable because I bought all of this on uh, Cyber Monday and Black Friday. And then for something a little less intense, I got a couple of body sprays. This one is the Kenneth Cole Black. And it's just an aerosol spray. So maybe they're going to school and they don't necessarily want to smell like cologne, but they want to smell good and fresh. Um, a good aerosol spray is a good idea. And then I got the Kenneth Cole Reaction. I think this one is more of like a summer, spring, fresh smell. They're all fresh. Let's just let's stop staying fresh. And lastly, I got the Nautica Voyage and the body spray. So we have the cologne and then the body spray. So three sprays, three colognes, and then this big bottle cologne specifically for Jason. If you have teenagers or if you are a teenager, <laughs> or if you're just a human in general that likes feet that don't stink, you probably already know about the Kiwi brand. This is the sneaker deodorizer, step three. So you just kind of press down on it and it deodorizes. It shoots out the front and the back of your sneaker. Let me unlock it and press down. And it just makes it smell so fresh. Ooh, that smells good. So three of those. And I'm gonna continue showing you what I got for the boys, but for Chris, you guys, I got this mobile launch monitor. If you're a golf player, actually let me open this one so I can show you because this was $500 and I got it on sale for $250. You just kind of set it up on your phone and it takes a video of your swing so you can watch your form. And then it has that red line there and it shows you how far your ball goes. Professional level accuracy on measurements, distance, ball speed, club speed, launch angle, launch direction, and shot shape. 
So this is such a steal. I was so happy I was able to find this. Chris hates spending money on himself. And then Roman got a light gray and a dark gray, just regular Nike hoodie. Just has, um, says Nike with a check. You know, high schoolers, they like name brand stuff. So I got him some more winter gear. And then Jason, I got him a couple of beanies that have the satin lining. I guess basically for any type of hair, beanies can kind of pull and tangle and cause damage. And so this brand right here offers just satin lining and they have hundreds of colors. It's like endless. Roman wanted a gaming headset. This is the Turtle Beach multiple platform gaming headset. So you could use this for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, anything like that. It's versatile and $130. It was his most expensive gift. So I usually get them one big thing and then like little things like colognes and socks and stuff like that. Speaking of, Roman got a nice big thing of socks. <laughs> I'm still that mom that buys hoodies and socks for Christmas. I just feel like it's it's necessary. I thought this was really fun. Roman likes to read. And this is difficult riddles for smart kids. It's like family fun. There's 300 riddles and puzzles and just like an interactive fun book. So if you have a child that likes things like this, Amazon is great for that. These are usually like $10 and under. So I got him one of those and then one that says Curious Minds. Interesting facts for curious minds, 1,572 random but mind-blowing facts about history, science, pop culture, and everything in between. And I think the one gift that Roman's gonna be super excited about besides his headset is I got him a... Dun, da, 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 a mini fridge for his bedroom. What teenager doesn't want a mini fridge for snacks? This is the Chefman personal fridge. It's the size of six Coke cans, as you can see. He can put water bottles in here. I think it says, yeah, it says keep cool or warm at home and on the go. So it's basically a cooler, but it's just exciting to have like, oh, I got a fridge in my room, you know? He'll probably keep some hot chips and bottled water in here. I'll get him like the little mini bottles, but I just know that he's gonna love that. And his room is black and red. And so his other gift is just a bunch of, I'm not gonna open it cause it's box, but I got him a uh, black and red sheets and then a really big oversized plushy soft black blanket. Oh, this is Jason's skateboard rack. I got him a rack to put on his wall so he can line up all his skateboards neatly. Jason is very organized and orderly. Everything in his room is to the T, lined up, this, that. He's an artist and his room reflects it. He has a sketch table and his room is just immaculate. Roman's gift is this cool mist humidifier. He's always hot and I always have the AC or the heater on. I keep it on 68, but he's still always so hot. And so he gets really dry as well. So I just got him a nice humidifier that will be his own. Oh, and Jason's last gift. Um, I have it in the basement because it's actually boxed uh, and labeled so he would know what it is. So we hid it. He wanted like a leather, like a black leather specific headboard. Um, so yeah. And I just have to wrap it all. I don't think I want to do that tonight though. I think I'm just going to box it and do it later. I always plan on doing something and literally when it's time, I'm like, I, I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> I, I get unmotivated so easily. You know what it is though? I have other things to do. Like I know that I need to go clean up the kitchen. I want to get the floors done before bed. It's getting late. I got to pick Roman up from work when he calls me, you know, so I have other things on my mind and I tend to get overwhelmed easily. So I don't think it's so much that I'm lazy as I just have so much on my mind all the time um you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me i had fun as usual please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it appreciate you so much have an awesome rest of your day and until next time bye for now